Exporting your book as a video is a great way of sharing your book because it allows the viewer to, to read the book um, without needing to have an Apple device with iBooks installed. Um, and we're going to look at how to customise the video of your book in iMovie for the iPad. And there's a couple of reasons why you might want to do that. Number one, you might find that the pages are turning too fast um, and we're going to look at a way to slow that down. And number two, you might want to add a soundtrack to your book and I'm going to show you how you can do that in iMovie. So the first thing we're going to do is export our book as a video from Book Creator. So we tap the export icon and choose export as video. Uh, and now we choose save video and that will save your video to your iPad's camera roll. So let's now open up the iMovie app and we see our video is there. Just select that and tap the export icon in the top right and you'll see the option to create movie. So let's tap that and iMovie will create a project of your video. When you export your book as a video in Book Creator, the rate at which the pages turn depends on how much information is on the page, how many different items you have. Now if you have a book like this one, which is basically just images um, imported into Book Creator, you'll see that the pages turn far too fast for the reader to take in um, and read the pages before they move on to the next one. So let's look at how we can slow that down using iMovie. When you tap on the video in your timeline, you see that you get this yellow board around it and a set of controls in the bottom left. Um, and it defaults to the cr crop tool to start with, but we actually want to select the one next to it, which is the speed tool. So now you'll see we have a range tool selected um, taking up the whole timeline and we also have a, a control at the bottom which is um, the tortoise and the hare. And you'll see that by sliding the, the slider down here we can slow the whole video down to about two-thirds speed and that's affecting the whole book and here we can see the pages turn a lot slower. And we can play around with that slide scale until we're happy with the result. Now it's also possible to adjust the speed of just one page and I'm going to show you how to do that although it's extremely fiddly to do on an iPad. We can use the range selector to um, trim the area that we want to slow down or speed up so if I just drag the edges of this yellow border like so you'll see that I can change the area that I'm going to trim and then I can use the pinch and zoom uh, control to, to just kind of open the book up and increase the amount of video that we're seeing in the timeline in one go. Um, make a few more adjustments to the trimming area and again pinch and zoom uh, and you can see you can see why it's so fiddly but you can um, adjust it just to get onto one part of the page and slow that bit down as you want. So now let's look at adding a soundtrack and there are a couple of ways to do this so I can tap the cog in the bottom right to bring up a, a sub menu and from there I can choose a theme and toggle off on and off the theme music for that theme and it will automatically add it. The other method is to select the audio menu in the top right and you'll see that from there you can choose uh, pre-loaded um, theme tunes and sound effects in iMovie or you can add your own soundtrack from your own iTunes library. Now I'm going to choose from the pre-installed theme music and let's go for playful and I tap that add icon and it automatically adds. Press play and we've successfully added a soundtrack to our book. 